Is anyone there? Uh, hi. Hello, this is Ultimate DS Man, and welcome to a different kind of video. Now, you guys remember that DS video I made a while back, a long time ago. It wasn't that long ago, but it kind of was. Pretty much, I just played a bunch of DS games on my 3DS, and we're like, oh man, look how bad this game is. Need for Speed Most Wanted, you know? And it was super fun times. We played Ghostbusters and Nick Toon's Attack of the Toy Bots, which is like the greatest game ever made. But uh, we're not going to be doing that today. Nope. We are not going to be playing games on a DS today because we are going to be playing on the PlayStation Vita. Now this handheld is really fucking cool, but it got overlooked. It didn't sell that well and there's just a lot of problems with the Vita in terms of marketing and a bunch of other reasons as well. Like I think the biggest reason why the Vita failed was not only like just the way Sony handled it, but the freaking memory cards. I personally have two memory cards for my Vita. And uh, this one right here, this is the 8 gig one. This came with my Vita because it was a Borderlands 2 bundle. So it came with this memory card. And I got my own memory card uh, with it. Alright, here we go guys. So we have a 32 gig. Uh, memory card right here for the Vita and if you were to buy one of these new when it came out and everything It would have cost you like a hundred bucks I'm not joking the memory cards for the PlayStation Vita were horribly 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 overpriced and It's a big reason as to why the Vita failed and the marketing and just the way Sony handled the handheld and the way AAA uh, publishers handle the handheld as well, and lots of other factors. So, and plus they're focusing on the PS4 runtime, which was taken uh, top priority. And then they tried to sell the Vita as like a super expensive accessory when the Vita is its own gaming platform. So, yeah, there are a lot of uh, reasons as to why the Vita failed, but we're not, you know. We're not here just to, you know, rag on the Vita and like, oh, it didn't sell that well, you know, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at the handheld itself, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. Got to turn it on first. That's right. There we go. It wasn't in sleep mode. There's the Vita. And like I, um, I should mention that this is the newer version of the Vita. This is not the original model. The original model was pretty thick, um... <laughs> This one's uh, slimmer, as you can see. And the back touchpad is smaller. By the way, yes, the Vita has a back touchpad, by the way. And, uh, which is kind of a weird... It's, the back touchpad's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, here it is. Covered in fingerprints. But yeah, we're going to be playing some PlayStation Vita games. And it's going to be real fun. Because I love this console. And I think more people should, um... Try it out, I guess. I don't know. If you can find a used Vita or something like that. Now, here we go. Here's the Vita. Turn it up. And here's the UI and everything like that. We got all kinds of stuff here. And it's a touch screen. Look at all the games we have here. All this stuff. We got trophies. Let's take a look at my trophies because I'm such an epic gamer. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at my. Let's take a look at my trophies. Oh man, it's my favorite video game Sonic Horses. Oh man, my favorite video games. Welcome Park. Oh man, that's even better. Yeah, I'm such an epic gamer. This is some basic fun. Um, fuck. <laughs> Functions. Uh, functions. We got music, videos, photos. By the way, it has a camera as well. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, it has a camera. Uh, you can't see anything. There we go. We'll use my hand as a reference. See, there we go. Yeah, you can even record video with the PlayStation Vita, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I have a video down there from where I finished a uh, Pikmin Adventures episode. And I was just randomly testing out the Vita's camera. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit record right now. Alright, we are recording right now on the PlayStation Vita. 
and uh, you can't really see shit. And uh, yeah, look at my hand. All right, we are recording right now on the PlayStation Vita. You guys hear that? And uh, you can't really see shit. Oh man. And uh, yeah, look at my hand. Just a test for the audio as well. Oh yeah. Go look around my room. There we go. Oh, I bumped the freaking camera. Oh no. There it is right there, the camera. Yep, there's the camera. Yeah. So yeah, it does work. As you can see. And yeah, you can function uh you can use the Vita's camera to record things. How cool is that? Even though it's not the best quality and I don't know why you would, but hey, it's still pretty nice, it's better than a 3DS's camera. So you got videos, music, photos. This near app right here. Well, let me turn this down a little bit. This near app right here was originally kinda like the Vita's version of uh uh what shit was it called? Street Pass on the 3DS. And you would pretty much find other Vita owners around your area as you walked around and tell you like their gear or stats or whatever. But this service shut down along with the YouTube and Netflix app for the Vita. Which is very unfortunate because I would love to watch Better Call Saul on my PlayStation Vita. But you know what we can watch? Well, let's just go to videos and find out, baby. Now on the PlayStation Store, you can actually buy movies and episodes to show uh, on your Vita right here. So, I have something to show off to you guys right now. We have some Aqua Teen episodes on my Vita. I am not fucking kidding. You think this is a joke? I am dead serious. Look, I have the entire Aqua Teen movie on my Vita. Like, uh, classic. I freaking love that movie. So we got all kinds of stuff. We got, you can even check your email on the Vita and calendar. And down well, that's a video game. PS3, I don't have a PS3. Let's take a look at music. My awful music I have on here. Let's see what we got here. Oh no, I have like one of my mashups on here for some reason. Beastie Boy. This is a lot of what the hell? This is a lot of mashups and stuff. It's a lot of music. By the way, it's actually super easy to uh, put music on here actually. So. You know, go nuts with it if you want. It's just like with lyrics or whatever. I don't know what this is. Let's go with, uh, oh my god, what the hell? What is all this? Oh, here we go. So yeah, you can listen to music on your PlayStation Vita. And it'll work in the menus, as you can see. Seen it. What about this? Yeah, it'll work. Look at that! How fancy is that? Can the 3DS do that? Can the Switch do that? Ha ha ha! No, no, it can't. Even though this is just you know one feature that no one would even care about. But hey, you can do it on the Vita. Ain't that nifty? So yeah, that's a thing you can do. And uh, we also have uh, parental controls. Shouts to uh, third ice climber and all that junk. And yeah, so let's go. Let's take a look at my games. What games do I have on my PlayStation Vita right here? Well, let's look at the game cases. So we got Sly Cooper Collection on the Vita. These are the actual cases, by the way. Like these things are tiny. Like, like these cases are so small and they're so cute. These, the Vita has one of my favorite, like, video game cases, like, they're so tiny, like, and look at the, look at the cartridges, too, like, look how tiny this is, like, boy, this is, like, the same size as, like, a Nintendo Switch cartridge, except for it's even thinner than those, you can even believe that, like, that's just crazy, y'all, look at that, I wonder how many, um, uh, People have lost their Vita games because of that, though. But yeah, the cases, I love the Vita cases. Like, these, these are just fucking fantastic, and I love these things. They're so tiny. Like, here's the, here's the case, and here's the actual system. Like, look at that. That's just crazy, y'all. 
So right here we have a Switch game and a Vita game. Look at that. It's just crazy. Crashes on the freaking Switch, but not the Vita. What the hell? I mean, technically you could do like cross-play with the Vita on the PS4 with Insane Trilogy. But like, wow, that's, that's kind of funny. But yeah, here's all my games, guys. Look at all this. And we're going to be playing some Vita games. Even though I've been recording for 15 minutes already, so this is going to be a long video. But let's play some Sly Koopa. So the PlayStation Vita, man. Like, this system, I honestly love my PlayStation Vita. Like, I wish more people, like, had the Vita as well. Because it's such a great console, honestly. Like, the library is great. It has a really cool design. It has got the specs. It's like... It's really freaking cool. And like dual analogs. I mean two analog sticks. Whatever, you know what I mean. Not really, I don't know. But yeah, like look at this though. Like obviously in person it's not going to look as good. But like, if you actually had this in your hands and you were playing it on a go, like my god god, that is so freaking cool. Now I know like, with the Nintendo Switch, it kind of makes the PlayStation Vita even more you know, irrelevant and everything, but, uh, the thing is about the Vita is, like, the original vision for it was, like, oh, you could play console, oh, no, I don't like this mission. The whole idea was, like, oh, you could play console-like games, you know, on the go and everything, and that's, like, really cool, you know, for the time, but the problem is, is, like, well, first off, like, all the AAA developers that made games for the Vita, like, the way, the, the games themselves weren't that good, like, all the AAA games on the Vita were pretty much, like, watered-down console versions and stuff like that, or, like, the original Uncharted game or the Call of Duty games, like, they weren't, they're either, like, meh, or, like, just straight up, like, bad. Like, I feel like the developers of those games, uh, kind of rushed the game out as quick as possible for the launch of the Vita. Because the Vita launched with a ton of games, actually. We're playing some Slack Koopa right now. Oh, shit. But, hey, this looks fantastic on the Vita and in person. Ooh, <laughs> I love doing that in this game. Don't know why. Gotta be careful with the searchlights. Ooh, that's how it's done. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Freaking love Sly Cooper, man. This is actually my favorite Sly game. Like, I know it's kind of weird. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, it's probably just nostalgia. But I think Sly 1 is my favorite in terms of the series. Don't know why exactly. Maybe it's because it's just more platform heavy, I guess. I don't know, it's probably just nostalgia. But yeah, another reason why the Vita failed was just because uh, the way Sony handled the console and the marketing, and, you know, it's all that jazz. The whole like, oh, we're just going to treat this like a expensive PlayStation 4 accessory, which, uh, yeah, good luck with that. So, yeah, there are a lot of factors why the Vita failed, just like why there's a lot of factors why the Wii U failed. And, what not, but the Vita still had great games on it. It really did. I'm gonna be playing those games in this video when I stop talking about why the Vita failed because I have to at least mention it in every uh since this is a Vita related video, so yay. Yay. So uh Sly Cooper 1 looks fantastic on the Vita. Like I think this HD version of Sly Cooper looks better than the actual fucking PS3 one because the borders aren't fucked up like it was on the PS3 version. I mean, sometimes the frame rate does. Whoa. Okay. Uh, sometimes the frame rate does go a little, you know, down and dips sometimes. But, uh, I mean, for the time and for the Vita, it's really impressive. And uh, that's the whole thing about the Vita. You know, the main gimmick, not gimmick, but the main appeal was like, oh, I could play console games on the go. But too bad, like, the AAA games, like, they were just really lackluster, and then a lot of support died, and then, you know, and all that stuff happened, and, yeah. So it's just really sad, man, what happened to the Vita. Like, I feel, I feel like their Vita was rushed out, and, like, the technology just wasn't there yet, and, 
Yeah, man, I don't know. But it's not, it's not even really the system's fault. It's more so just like the way it was handled and the, some of the publishers and developers, the way they handled it too. The marketing. There's like no PlayStation Vita ads for like the longest time too. And then after a while, Sony just stopped mentioning the Vita altogether. When, ah, oh, damn it. That device I was talking about, I just looked it up. And it's called the PlayStation TV. I just remembered. You can pretty much play Vita games on your TV. And you can sync it up with your, like, PS4. And uh, play PS4 games, like, in another room without having to bring the PS4. And stuff like that. And it was pretty much just a PlayStation Vita on a TV. But the thing is, like, certain Vita games, for some reason, just did not support it. And you just couldn't play that game, for some reason, on the PlayStation TV. I don't know. When it came out, though, like, no one fucking bought that thing at all. So, if you want one right now, you could probably get one pretty damn cheap, because they're not expensive at all anymore. So, yeah, if you want one, you can definitely go, uh, and, uh, you know, get one. I don't know why I can't talk in this video, but I can't. I just can't do it today. Oh, you'll never get to me. You'll never get to me. You'll never get me. Die. <laughs> that was fun. Fun times. Look, I'm Sanic. Here I go. <laughs> oh, here we go, buddy. I just destroyed Mario. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we I don't know how I did not see that, man. Let's play some PlayStation All-Stars. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. I love Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on my PlayStation Vita. Oh, man. Oh, my favorite game. I'm going to have to show you guys who I main in this game. Ooh, I've been to PlayStation All-Stars uh, tourney, tourneys, tourneys before, and I can whoop anyone's ass with my main. Hell, yeah. I'm just kidding, though. But, uh, who needs Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch when you have PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale for the PlayStation, uh, Vita? Wait, this is the wrong thing. You're supposed to go... No! I don't want to do that! Oh, I get my ass kicked online! No, I don't want to! Thank you. Okay, I want to go to here and in here. You have to hit Wi-Fi to do a local match, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Now, Kratos right here. Kratos is pretty much like the best fucking character in the game. But except for, he's actually not the best fucking character because he's not proper, the goddamn rapper. Let's go, baby. We got Jack and Dexter, Ratchet, and a cat, and a dog. Let's go. And now the menu for this game is like really weird in the fact that like sometimes there just isn't any music. Like, I'll turn it up. There's just no fucking music. I don't know why. So anyways, guys, this is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh my god, this is a... I cannot see what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm about to teach everyone how you do this. How you play this game. Whoa, did I just teleport? What did I... Oh, okay. Oh, oh, where... Oh my god. Stop it, Jack. Quit! Your series is fucking dead! Ninja mine is too, but still. Fucking. Oh, you made me fucking waste my super, you goddamn bata. Oh my god, this cat, this fish needs to fuck off. Alright, everyone's about to die. Oh no! God damn it, Jack, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh wait, I thought it was a cat for some reason. Oh, come here, Ratchet. But, damn it! Stop making me waste my shit, man. I'm so upset. Get up out. Mm. Let's go. Son of a bitch. I love this sage, though, but it's just... It's a little too much sometimes. It's a little too much. All right, here we go. Son of a monkey fucking piece of shit. God damn it. I gotta do this for Sunny Funny. Sunny Funny Monkey Monkey Money Bunny. I don't know. Fucking d stop doing that. I know karate. Okay. I use Rosetta Stone. Okay. Uh, I have a katana collection. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. I can use a skateboard too. Skateboard's actually really good as long as you know how to fucking stop, Jack. 
I want to lose. I can't believe I just said those words just now in my favorite video game. Oh, I love this music. What the fuck? Fucking die. Yes, I got two of them, bitches. Mm. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. Ooh. Fuck your mother. God damn it. Yeah, I should... I should go to, like... Ah, oh, motherfucker. I should go to, like, PlayStation All-Star, uh... Tornies. Where am I? Oh, wait, it's a stock match. That's right, I'm dead. Shit a moly, mister. Ah, oh, god damn it. Motherfucker. I cannot believe this. I can't believe I lost. Wait a second, is that from fucking Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? Oh my god. I love that game. Is that what that's from? I think so. Because there isn't... Oh my god, I think it is. I love that game. Ooh, god, I fucking love that game. Maybe I should make a video about that game. God, have you guys ever played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? That's a great-ass game in the soundtrack. Oh, it's so damn good. Come on, cat, whoop his ass. Come on, get in there. Get in there. You better whip his ass. Yeah! Yeah, you better get in there. Oh, man, look at this freaking area, man. See, look how good this looks, man. This is awesome to have, like, on a handheld. Like, even though the Nintendo Switch exists. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you can even do, like, a long jump, like in Super Mario 64. Ooh, on the PlayStation Vita! Oh no! Why the hell did I do that? Why did I think that was a good idea? Huh? 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 What? I don't know. You tell me, Buster. Man, they should have remastered Aqua Teen Eagle for Zombie Danger Pro Am on the PlayStation Vita. That would have been some shit. Ooh, I got one too, bitch. Come over here. Mm. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's right. You don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with me in this game. Even though I suck at this game, <laughs> actually. See what I mean? I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, baby. You better get the fuck out of here. God, it's so fucking hot in my room. I'm gonna fucking die. Wee. Oh, that was clean. Let's go. Ooh, I could blow these up. Come on. There we go. Yeah! I'm so good at video games. I'm an extra epic gamer. <laughs> Am I right, dudes? <laughs> Is that right, Mia? Yeah, that's right. You know it, too. Have you seen my YouTube channel? I'm the ultimate gamer. That's why. Why do you think they call me Ultimate DS, man? <laughs> what do you. I don't know. But. Give me this shit. It's fucking hot as hell in this room. I'm probably gonna die. Oh my god. Yo, bitch. Mmm, yeah. I should play this game more often. This is really fun. I'm not super, like, uh, well versed into Ratchet and Clank. So, like, yeah. But this is really fun, though. I like this game. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god. Oh, wait, how do I do these? Oh, here we go. Those are hard. Yeah, let's go. Turn that shit off. Let's go. Oh, night. What the? F what the fuck? Are you serious? Stop. This game is great, though. I just kind of, you know, I haven't played it in a while, so I'm a little rusty. I love this fucking song. Oh, shit. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, what the fuck? No. Oh my god, stop! I... Okay, whatever. I love this song though. Ah, son of a bitch. Damn it! Hey guys.
There we go. Da 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 Oh my fucking Jesus. I know I probably look like a fucking dumbass to a lot of you people that probably are like gods of this game, but... Oh. God. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. God, here we go, baby. Showtime. Alright, let's go, bitch. Girl, I have no idea what I'm doing, but oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck you up. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm oh god. Oh, let's go, bitch. Oh, don't know what I'm doing, but I'm somehow pulling through. Oh! Okay, let's go. No. Come on. No. Come on. There we go. No, you don't. Son of a bitch monkey. Get, get the fuck. God, I love this fucking music. It's hype as fuck. Stocking, what are you doing here? What the fuck? Um. What? I don't remember doing that. Wait. Oh my god, what? What? This is so cool. And Kratos cast himself from the highest. And he fucking died. The end. Oh, oh. yeah. I'm the most broken character in PlayStation All-Stars, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch Vita, GameCube, PlayStation, Xbox 360, uh, XL. Now, fun fact for you here, um, Fez is actually one of the first indie games I really got into. And, um, Fez is like the indie game that got me playing more indie games, so I have a really, uh, close connection with this game. And I really like this game a lot. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite indie games of all time. Even though the whole... Everyone knows about the whole controversy of the creator of this game and whatnot. Despite that, though, like, this is a fantastic game. Like, despite, you know, Phil Fish being a complete dick and everything. And just being a... Overall, just an unlikable person. Um... The game he made, though, was fan-fucking-tastic, and I fucking love this game. I have, like, how many copies is this? I bought this game, like, three times. Like, I fucking love this game. I, I bought it as many times as I could, because I just loved it so much. It even got to the point to where I tried to learn the language, like, all this writing and blocks and stuff. I tried to learn the language of the lore and the universe of this world. Because I just love this game so much. And then when I heard all about... When I heard all this stuff about, like, the creator and what he's done and all the things he said... My heart was just crushed by it, man. Because I just absolutely adored this game. And I still do. I still really like this game. And I consider it one of my favorite indie games. But it's just hard to talk about this game now because of all that stuff that happened with Phil Fish... Because every time you bring it up now, it's like, oh, he's an asshole. Why would you like that game? It's like, I, it just sucks. It's such an unfortunate, you know, situation to be in. Oh, look at the sky. It's nighttime. Oh, my God. I fucking love this game, guys. Look how good it looks. God, you're not going to get the full picture because it's on a Vita. But, like, ah. Oh. Still, man. Alright, here we go, guys. Yes, it's your boy. P 
Ho Rapa the Rapper, once again, back at it again. Oh my god, dude, I am a fucking god. I am so fucking good at this game. Actually, a fun fact about this game, um, the PlayStation Vita is actually how I got introduced to Parappa the Rapper. I'm not kidding. I saw Parappa the Rapper in the PlayStation Store when I got my Vita. I was like, I've heard of this character before, but I've never played this game. And I don't know what he's about. I was like, you know what, I want to give this a try. And I fucking sucked at it at first. I sucked so hard. I was like, you know what? I'm determined to do this. So I really like the music and the character designs. This is really cool. I'm going to keep going at it. And I did. And I fucking fell in love with this game. I know it's super short. But this is one of the most memorable video games ever in my opinion. And I fucking love it. It's just awesome as fuck. I love the Vita so fucking much. This is such a great system. Like, look at all these games. Limbo. Jet Set Radio, Parappa the Rapper, God of War. Like, this is just a PlayStation Store. Like, look at all this, man. One of my favorite indie games right here. I fucking love this game. And I don't even have all the, like, every single Vita game. There's so many, like, other games out there. Like, the Dongaroba, the Donga Donga Dongo. The Dongo series, the Donga Rompa, however the fuck you say it, series name. There's Persona, um, which is probably like the most popular Vita game ever. So many games, man. It's crazy. Like I freaking love this system. It's just, it's just great. And it introduced me to fucking Parappa, the fucking rapper. Like, God, I fucking love this system. I like, I love this console. Like, I know the thing about the Vita. Is that like it's a system you don't need to have like it's not a necessity like you have to go out and get one for this one game or a couple of games like you know like how people feel about the Nintendo Switch pretty much like Smash Ultimate Mario Kart stuff like that and Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild you know like everyone feels the need to like oh I have to get fucking switch right now you know what I mean but with the Vita it's not like that really it has a great library, yes, but like, it's not a system you have to go out and get immediately. But, if you do decide to invest in a Vita, one thing is that it is kind of expensive. So, just be prepared for that, especially the memory cards. But if you get past that, the Vita is super fucking enjoyable. In fact, I will go on record to say this is one of my favorite fucking handhelds ever. Like, this, the design, the vibe, this the library... Just the, the UI, the interface, and the music, and I just love this console. Like, I really, I really do. And it's a shame what happened to it, man. The mismanagement, the bad marketing, the way Sony handled it, the way the fucking AAA publishers handled the Vita at its first launch, and then other publishers gave up on it after a while, including Sony themselves. And Sony tried to sell this thing like a fucking PS4 accessory that was just super expensive. Yeah, man. I fucking love the Vita. What do you guys think about the PlayStation Vita? I've always wanted to make a video about the Vita. Besides, the only video I've really done about this thing is the original unboxing I did way the fuck back. Back in like 2015? Yeah, I think so. But what do you guys think about the PlayStation Vita? Do you have one? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, what could have been done to make the Vita's future more bright, and do you prefer the Vita or the Nintendo Switch? I know everyone's gonna say Nintendo Switch, obviously, but you never know, man. Like, I still love this guy a lot. I fucking love this portable. This is one of the coolest handhelds to ever exist, if not the coolest, in my opinion. Like, it, I don't know, I just fucking love this thing. So yeah, what do you guys think about this PlayStation Vita? And share your stories in the comments down below. And this is also a DS Man signing off. Thanks for watching.